Like Marsha, can you tell me about tonight and what it means to MoMA and the institution and the film department at MoMA? Yeah, I mean, this is our ninth film benefit. Uh, what it really means to the museum is our ability to maintain the excellence uh, for our collecting, our preservation, and our exhibition programs around cinema. Um, you know, the fact that it's Tom Hanks was something we knew would be great. We didn't know how great it would actually be to have America's dad at MoMA right at the time when you need a hug the most. So uh, this night has more meaning maybe than any of the previous film benefits, and we had no idea it would. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy that Tom Hanks is in the house tonight. <laughs> Anything you're looking forward to uh, the most tonight? Well, we have some amazing guest speakers uh, and Leon Bridges performing. Um, you know, I think all of us are just really looking forward to remembering why cinema has been so important to to people, to the nation, to um, you know, to people who are suffering or who need to escape. And uh, it's not that you know escapism is the only reason we're interested in the movies, but. It's actually an essential part of it, and when they're great, like the movies Tom has been involved with, um, I think that's a sign of great art too, or true, you know, the true impact that, that this art form can have. So, um, yeah, looking forward to escaping a little bit and, and actually not feeling bad about it. So, so there. <laughs> There we go, especially after yeah, shaking yeah. his hand. Yeah. Um, so welcome. Who are you? We are with Momo. Oh, okay. Great. Where you are right now. Um, thank you for being here. Happy We're honored. Here. Uh, you actually have, we have six of your movies in our collection. Philadelphia, Toy Story, uh, Toy Story 2, uh, incredibly loud and extremely it's close, really except I have that backwards, really of course. Close. Did you ever think your work would be in, in part of a museum's collection? And does, what does that mean to you? It, I, I, I'm astounded. Uh, no, uh, you know, what, no bachelor party? That, that's my first question. Uh, volunteers? Yeah, volunteers? That should be in there. No, I, uh, and Hooch? I'm a, I'm a, my question is, in, you know, the DVDs are pretty cheap. If you want yeah. them all, I'll send them by. Oh, they're, they're all DVDs. I can get you, I can get you the Blu-rays of, you know, everything from Larry Crown, uh, you know, straight back to, uh, you know, Man with One Red Shoe. I can get them all to you if you want, if you we, want. We love that. If you want. The idea of, of films being collected and storytelling in this in this day and age, important. Oh dear. Well, the I, I think the, the the great films accurately capture the times in which they were made. No matter what their subject matter, whether they're costume dramas, you take Gone with the Wind. It really captures the way America and the world was in 1939. And you could go in the 50s and anything from uh, the earrings of Madame De to on the waterfront capture what it was like to be alive in, in the 1950s. Uh, and I, that, that, that holds, you know, the, the amount of uh, sort of like repertory movie, cha uh, movie channels that are on TV, you, you can watch them all. And even the ones that don't work now, even the ones that seem like museum pieces to the audience these day, have inside them these kernels of what the social mores were of what the prerogatives of the people were, uh, what, what people were searching for, and the tastes of the creative artists who were making movies at the time. And so I, I, I think that uh, I, would, I wouldn't mind spending a, spending a lifetime in which every day I had the time and, uh, and the media in order to watch two or three films from all across the spectrum of all across time, because there are all these little historical documents that are as accurate can be, and they never change. You've won two Academy Awards, but can that compare to being honored tonight? Uh, you know, that stuff, when that happens, it goes by in the wink of an eye. It's a whirlwind for a couple of weeks, and then it's about as memor memorable as, you know, the first job you had or your first two weeks of college. Uh, the only yardstick, I've said this for years now, haven't I, honey? Yes. 
The only yardstick for success is longevity. So what you want is the movies uh, still be asked to to make uh, still be invited to make different films and also have the ones that you've made still have some sort of social residence. But that's not within your power. That that's Fox Populi. Thank you so much. Hey, my pleasure. Thank nice you. Nice to see you.